Welcome back to Set Streets and Eats, guys. I'm Chris Bauer. That's right, I'm in Little Improved, Mississippi. And there's only really one thing here besides some houses, and that's Smitty Super Service Station. There's Damon. Look, I'm, I'm sorry, you're too late. <laughs> no! Helen flew the coop. Oh! Wait a minute, she Helen flew the coop, what does that mean? She couldn't handle the heat, she got out of the hen house. I have a feeling that means something and I don't understand yet, but I feel like I'm going to find out. Yeah, Does that mean you're, you're going to have to find out the hard way that Helen's not here. If Helen's not here, you either have a gap in that band. Oh my. I look like somebody who have a gap. He does not. Now I'm really excited. All right, guys. Well, I guess we're going to go visit Smitty Super Service Station again. And I hope you guys will join us. Let's go see it. Oh my god, I know what that means. Hey, you got to look quick with your mouth there, Pasquale. Just knock it off, would you? Not a boy. She sings in French. And if we give her a great big hand, folks, maybe she'll sing some for us. Sing to but I think everybody should sing French. You know? Everybody? Man of oil! Do you know Jaca? Well, kinda. Well, it goes like this. And we get to help, no? We. Oui. So everybody on my oui. side of the room sing Frere Jacques, and everybody on my side sing Dormez-vous. And the whole room joins with me to sing Les Quarters. Yeah, yeah. And I'll decide which side sings the loudest. Okay, we begin. Come on, everybody. Here comes the round. Let's sing it. performance with seen transmogrifying here. There can't be no winners here. Listen, it's better luck next time, folks, and we'll see you later, okay? So, so uh, yeah, yes. You know, one of your last videos, you were yes. like, I've never seen I've Madame never Madame. seen Madame Mike except mounted on a wall at Marvin's Mechanical and, uh, Mechanical Museum. Emporium and Museum in Detroit. So, ta da. Oh, Welcome back, Chris. Dude. And streets and Eats. Ah, oh, this is amazing. Madam Oink. The Pinky from Perry. Woo! So, I, I know you kept noticing a little bit yeah. of interesting uh, audio. It was, like, it was a new voice and a new name, and that makes sense because if you have an older tape, that would have been crusty in the portrait stage with Madam Oink. So of course, you have to have circa 1978. Wow. 
So Mr. Munch is sitting in for Krusty in this tape. That is amazing. Oh my God, what a great surprise, dude. That was unbelievable. Oh, Mattaboy! To oh, I cannot wait. <laughs> cannot wait. This is so cool. Oh, so by the way, mm -hmm. uh, 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 another thing. Mm -hmm. uh, a thanks to Matt the franchise. Uh huh. Friend who, of the show. Um, was gracious enough to take this original audio from 1978 and program it for you. Oh! So I told him I had a special visitor coming and that he knew him personally. Nice! And something special, so. Thanks, Matt. <laughs> you are amazing, and you didn't even let it slip when I was just seeing you in Dallas last week. That's awesome. Oi, goody, oi. Hey, this something. Oi, goody, oi. Thank you. 
again. So Madam Oink performed in the Chuck E. Chase Pizza Time, Chuck E. Cheese Pizza Time Theater back in uh, 78 through, what'd you say, 82, 83, 84? Yeah, she, she Early 80s? She was a rotating character that was being used right before Helen took over the Okay. Position. So she was pretty much through their, uh, the whole Pizza Time Theater uh, history as there. As far as guest stars are concerned, yeah. other than Helen, she yeah. was the most used. Wow. Now, when they did the guest stars, how long did they have a set amount of time that the guest stars would go through, or was it just based on the story? Most of the times, the reels were probably meant to last three, four, six months. Oh, I would think so. Because so, I know they changed the outdoor signs too, didn't they? And posters. Yeah. And things. So, in, in my mind, like in large cities for Texas, even, for example, like right. Dallas, you know there were more than one Chuck E. Cheese. Right. So you Chuck could probably e. have all of them. Chuck E. Cheese A yeah. had Madame Oink and sure. the Beagles. Sure. Chuck E. Cheese B had Harmony and the King. It makes so sense. So you could go to different Chuck E. Cheese that makes in the sense. same town and still be able to see something unique to that story. Yeah. So that, that makes a lot of sense. Here. The amount of stuff you have in this building is pure insanity. It's like the greatest Chuck E. Cheese Rockefeller Museum ever built. <laughs> The only? Well, you really do have the only. <laughs> but it's still the greatest, even if it wasn't the only, because there's so much. Every time I think I've seen something, there's like eight layers deep in another corner oh, yeah, of like cool stuff. Yeah, and that, and that thing, you can count the curio yeah. stuff. I'm just looking at all these just awesome stuff over here that I didn't notice last time, and just so many cool things. You got the Seinfeld Chucky poster. I love that thing. That's so cool. Of course, the Beagles got their own. <clears throat> We're making magic together. Oh, how cool is that? See, that reminds you of that, uh, the uh, stained glass window in Spokane. It, it's the same art. It's the exact same That's art. That's the same art. Oh, my yeah. God. So. That's so cool. That never saw outside. Oh, yeah, clearly not. not. Because yeah. it looks brand new. Well, I mean, you know, I mean, it's, yeah, 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 you know. Brand Definitely inside. 1970, <laughs> 81, 79, wow. 81 kind of time frame. So. Man, that's awesome. It's that's pretty, really cool. It's great. Yeah, it is. It's, it's, it's on the two-get display list. Oh, for sure. for sure. That's amazing. <laughs> we'll leave it sitting out, too. You must be under this height to enter my cheese crawl. Of course. Oh, and there's the, uh, one of the new signs. Oh, yeah, yeah, the Billy Bob signs. Yep. So it's still got the registered on it, too. So cool. Yeah, I agree with you. It has to be some kind of a franchise one-off, or maybe they own several. Who knows? 
But I've not seen those. Yeah. yeah. But they are reminiscent of the, the Tully Road uh, artwork. third floor really artwork. Yeah. A little bit more colorful. But yeah, totally. Just Where they just kind of did something. Yeah, exactly. Just did something different. That's so cool. Are we ready to see some more? Of, of course we are. Mm -hmm. Of course we are. We can't get enough hams. Even on our pizza. We are here for this bacon. Madam Oink, I can't believe we're getting to see her actually play these show tapes. Amazing. Thanks, Matt. Thank you, Matt. You are awesome. Pascalia is not into big ladies, he and said. Pasquale so Pascalia is now officially canceled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, Pasquale, you're, you're not really supposed to tell the poor lady that she's too big for you. You could say, I'm not interested. But whatever, you know. But, I mean, you know, in, in, in retrospect, fat bottom girls make the world go round. That's true. Same era. Same era of that <laughs> song. So, you know, I guess that was his way of saying I'm not interested in the 70s. Um you're too big for me. Okay, well. Pusquale. So rude. <laughs> now, when I was here last time, I didn't have a clue about anything. Because I hadn't even gone to a... You know, you know what? Like, when I was here last time, I still thought every Chuck E. Cheese had three stages. Because that's the only ones I'd ever been in. Because you were like, go to so Rockford. Did I set you up yes, on that road? absolutely, you did. I told you it's that. It's all my fault. Yes, it is. Because <laughs> so you said sorry. at this visit last year, you were like, you should go check out Rockford. It's the last stage. They're about to get rid of it. And, and I was you like, were the last. What's a Rockford stage? Go see it too. And Probably. you were like, it's this stage. And you were showing me, and I was like, I've never seen that before. And never will again. And then I went and saw it. And then I absolutely after that, I found out that there were other stage types. I was literally a complete noob. I had zero clue. Road stages, that, uh, stages oh yeah, three stages. And now I've seen them all. So literally, you've uh, you introduced me to the heroine uh, that was stage finding <laughs> for Chuck E. Cheese. So that's now your going, fault. So now we're going down McDonald's. Road. <laughs> now we're jumping into McDonald's. Uh, I'll take, I'll take and all of it. Too. And now I can't help myself. I'm collecting things I didn't collect before. 
spending money on things I would have never spent before. You know, it's, it is it a it is sickness. I am saving it. That's what I tell myself. I'm buying it because I'm saving it. Yeah, for future. That's right. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> Agreed. Ladies and gentlemen, you know, it's your business to be in all these electronic animals around here in Long. I mean, it's your business to run it deep in the depths of our very wiring, right down in the bottom of every micro circuit. That's why I'm pleased to present a lovely lady who was born to perform. <laughs> yeah, you, you might call her a, a natural born ham. Yeah, and you're got to be quite a strange hog yourself to have putting in like that. Oh, anyway, anyway, here she is. That charming piggy from Paris. Madam Oink, Madame Oink, whatever, whatever. Money makes the world go round, the world go round, the world go round. Money makes the world go round, it makes the world go round. Mark a yen a buck a pound, a buck a pound, a buck a pound. It's all that makes the world go round, that clinking, clanking sound. If you happen to be rich and you feel like a knight and a friend, and you can pay for a gay escapade. If you happen to be rich and alone and you need a companion, you can ring, ring a ling for the maid. If you happen to be rich and you find you are left by a lover, you moan, you groan quite a lot. You can take it on the chin, call a cab, and begin to recover on your 14 carat yacht. Not the crab. <laughs> but you're right about the interactions on the portrait stage. They're so much more energetic and better than the like the full body ones, I think. I, I like well, I mean, their show the, tapes the, more. The, the full body doesn't do anything because there's no. nothing there. It's and just their, their legs, but they don't serve a purpose. Maybe it's because they're much. more for kids when they by the time they got to that or something. Because these are definitely trying to entertain adults and kids. Yeah. They this could have been really that. really trying to entertain the adults. That, for sure. The adults for are, sure. are what they were targeting. Yeah, because the kids were playing out. in the, uh, the arcade. Were, yeah. yeah, that's true. I just, I, I mean, you're it because they're just full of energy. They're entertaining. It reminds you of a variety show yeah. that you would have seen, Carol Burnett, and, and, you know, and, and all of them do back then. And, and the creative license that has been taken with this, so much, well... Crusty. Crusty. Pasquale was behind the door. Oh, so sure, yeah. He would have been coming in and out. Sure. So, I mean, we've added a little bit into him. Yeah. But, you know. You know what? I also realized I know exactly who they based that character on. You remember Madeline Kahn's character from Blazing Saddles? Oh, it's true. It's really, really true. I'm tired. Tired of playing the game. Ain't it a crying shame? I'm so tired. Hello, handsome. Is that a ten gallon hat? Or are you just enjoying the show? <laughs> But when she would sing, like it just, it really. Yeah, because Blazing Saddles came out in the late 60s, right? 
We'll Google it. We'll Google it. I'll put the year right here. I'm almost positive it came out in the late 60s, early 70s. But the the but way she the sounds. Dolly is on the same way yeah, too. but Dolly definitely Dolly has a more, more sassy. Bluesy, yes, totally, soul. totally. Yeah. But still that same. Um, the sexuality? wit banter, yeah, for sure. There's definitely <laughs> some sexuality, to it. especially the uh, the boys grow up to be uh, something the, the, quite the, wonderful. The, the, this next show do they? Up is, is going to be interesting. Excellent. Uh, as far as uh, the, the sexuality. Well, I mean, they were very risque back then, just because, as you say, they're entertaining the adults. But they, it was the '80s. They had a a whole. 70s. Well, this was the '70s. It's true. There was a whole we list of Andy rules Andy. back then that we don't. I mean, we weren't at Andy Warhol. No, we were not. <laughs> in Studio 54. And there would have been a, a huge plume of smoke from the cigarettes and drinking uh, the beer and. It when you open the door. Oh yeah, and the sports bar and the showroom. Yeah. So uh, yeah, there's a different set of rules back then for entertaining, and I am all for it. Yeah. No. 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 <laughs> child safety seats. No seat belts. <laughs> You kids just quit hopping around back there. <laughs> Don't make me pull over this car. I'm going to do some more. More my dumb oink. But before we do that, I just got to show you even more. I think you've added. Did you add more since I've been here? Uh oh, I hear it. We're tambourine. Oh, the tambourine down here. Yeah, yeah I was going to say, I haven't Tam seen that before. Tambourine is a new piece. That's awesome. Uh, I got a couple of different, uh, I don't know if I had the pen. I don't know. I, I don't That's know. That's so cool. You know, people are like, do you still have anything you're missing? I'm like, well, if it's missing, I don't know. Well, how would you know? I yeah, know. I mean, I'm sure they made billions of things, but how would you know until you see it? So amazing. I love it. Of all this stuff. Ooh, I love those old hotel keychains. Those are awesome. Ha, oh, Billy Bobs. Hello. Ah, uh, the old Looney Bird shirts. Oh, I, do, I do have something new. It's uh, what? related, but not. Uh huh, uh huh. I will hold. Oh, we got a little Earl toy down there. Mitzi. Love that showbiz picture. Another Billy Bob. Yeah. Billy Bob backpack. <gasps> Teddy Ruxpin. And Grubby. Grubby? I don't even remember Grubby. Yeah. Was that his buddy? Yeah. Did he also take tapes? Uh, so he or did he runs, just interact? He runs off. There's a cord. Oh, and he, and no piggy, kidding. Piggyback them. So you would basically put a story that had both a minute. You pop it into Teddy. And he would play too. He no sit, way. You know, a few feet away with the cord. I've, and, I've definitely seen Teddy. I've never seen Grubby. Yeah. And the airship and what? the professor. And yeah. That's so pretty awesome. Definitely 80s. You know, oh, peach, solidly. You know, so. Got the old cassette player in the back there. <laughs> It was like a robot. You know, see, one of my things has been for years talking about the Billy right here yeah. with the tape deck. Oh, totally. Which was their attempt of doing... Absolutely. <laughs> that was an absolute... So, yeah, because that was a huge hit. Because yeah. didn't they even try to make a cartoon? There, are, there is a there cartoon. There is a cartoon for Teddy Ruxpin. Because it was the toy was just a massive hit. Oh, um, so cool. Hey, they just made a new version of him a few years ago. Did they? Have LED eyes. Really? Like, Ooh. Yeah, until they go off. That seems like a little like demonic. It's like something off the of Jaws. The doll's eyes. It's, the, it's a, like a doll's eyes. <laughs> yeah. No thanks. Hard pass for me. Hard pass. As Chucky would say. Are you guys going to watch this concert? All right. But you got to watch it. We're gonna show you guys how to really perform. And now, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, a show as big as the world, and a guest star as big as the show, The Tunnel of Love, starring Madame Oist and featuring the Pizza Time Players. Ladies and gentlemen, let me welcome you to The Tunnel of Love Dance. It's songs and stuff from all over the world. And how to sing it for you is someone that's been all over the world 
songs and stuff. back in the next one goodbye crusty you were great in the 78 hey it rhymed but now it's mr munch back we'll singing that. we'll that that's right crusty <laughs> can just sit right there mr munch is back on the mic A nice little custom figure. John Texas made it. That's awesome. That's great. Tick the birthday boy. Uh, <laughs> what a classic. That's awesome. One of one. That's so cool. And here it is. <laughs> it's just crazy. <laughs> it's the best part of coming to you see your collection is all the completely rare things that you have that you can see nowhere else. Wait till we end the night with another exclusive uh, one of a kind. Oh my lord, I'm so excited. Yeah. Yes. And now, 
The love tub makes a steamy stop in the tropics. You guys, hey, you're welcome to our trip down south to the border there. Yes. Today we travel to beautiful land of the Amazon, where orchids grow wild and coffee and bananas are shipped around the world. And the costumes of the people are so wonderful. And the finger reaches so beautiful. Hi, hi, hi. And we have the in the tropics, in our daisy ladies like kind of crazy, like South American ladies. Hi, 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 there's melody in the music, but it's out to fade from one to three to the other very late. I love shopping, man. 20 pieces of pineapple with a conga and a chow, chow, chow. Cha, cha, cha. That's a South American dance. Like the samba. Samba, Mambo, Conga, what's the difference? Everybody knows the Brazil. Brazil! 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 Tuxedo Pizza Time Theater Chuck E. Cheese Pizza Time Theater Ferris Wheel That was here last time But that wasn't That's new What? Ooh Legends <laughs> Pinball Look at that games. Dude that's pretty cool I didn't know they had those Check that out That's a good idea I didn't think that was a thing Look at that. And you basically just, that's awesome. That's, flip. I see it. Looky there. That's awesome. It looks real. And I mean, you know, it'll, it'll vibrate and jiggle. Yeah. That's a cool idea. Oh, and it tilts too. That's awesome. Yeah, don't hit the tilt button. That's so cool. I really did not realize they made these, but what a great idea. That's awesome. Very cool. <clears throat> I dig it. Hollow Looney Bird. Of course, the astrology game. Rampage! Oh yes, and Space Ball! I think, I think the signs are new, and somebody were asking about them, so this was originally art. I mean, it was That's all awesome. in a show there, so... That's pretty it's cool. It's just weird, because of... Be like, where did it come from? I don't know. I mean, it kind of reminds me of those Which Tully one? Road ones oh, that are upstairs. Here. <clears throat> it's pretty cool. I wonder if they were like a a franchise, you know, yeah, one off. Like you know, that, that, that was made in the franchise. That's pretty cool. 
I mean, I bet it was. I bet it was something like that. That's pretty awesome. That's so cool. I dig it. I hear him airing up. It's a rock of fire explosion. Yes. Hey, I didn't start the show today. <laughs> We've seen a lot of shows and we've seen a lot of collectibles and arcade stuff, but now we're going to look at some collectibles Damon says are super rare. So I'm beyond excited. 
He's been laying stuff out and says, I can't look at it yet. <laughs> but I'm about to turn around and look at it. He can't stop me forever. It's coming. What do we have here? So, uh, first off, we have a couple of rare, unique items. Uh-huh. So, the, the watches, the one that's still in the case. Oh, with, my gosh. You, just, you look at his hand, he's painting. So, he's painted the numbers. And it's just weird. It doesn't match... It doesn't match the typical art. At all. It doesn't even look so, like any art they ever used, honestly. It looks like it's almost um, concept-ish. So, but I mean, the other one, the other one is standard. I mean, that, that looks, yeah. that looks like, you know, the way Definitely. it's supposed to be. Yeah. That's cool. And then the paperweights with the medallion. And that's got that standard pose. Computer 1981. So that's got that's, that pose like that uh, Spoon K Washington and like yeah. that, yeah, you know, that thing over there, yep. Yeah. The sign. And then what is that? A copy of an annual report. Oh, so that would have been like given to like a franchisee, a franchisee or, or a it's stockholder, it's maybe? A stockholder, maybe? A stockholder, maybe. It's definitely not something that was made that in the public. That is random. And I don't even, I don't. I don't think like these watches would have been for the public. They yeah, because they don't look like something that would have been in the, the Chuck E. Cheese the store. Ones that were for the public were little plastic yeah. things with LCD. Yeah. Though that makes more sense. So. This is crazy rare. Like, what is? Where in the? It's one thing to have a annual report, but to have a miniature one as a paperweight <laughs> floating. And just and just remember the annual report because we're going to backtrack and get okay. back to again in a minute. Oh so. my. God, like this is amazing and keep in mind this is pizza time theater this isn't even Chuck E. Cheese's later on or this showbiz pizza like time yeah this would have been earlier first company we'll call it first company wow that's so amazing on the far side yeah, yeah get that reference far side. oh yeah so <laughs> I these, get it I love those comics these are original main plates that would have been oh on the yeah so I mean, you gotta realize they didn't make a lot of the portrait robot shows. I mean, that right. was very early on. So these nameplates are wow. It's pretty. Yeah, because how many? I mean, is there a number of? I guess there's a number of the restaurants I had. The there, there is a number. Stages. Ask Travis. <laughs> oh yeah, okay, I definitely will. Yeah, he would no doubt. Travis will rattle some of that. I'm sure. Off, so. so that's this would have come from one of those stores. I'm sure they're not marked or anything, but. Uh, Wow, they're like brass. Patina. Oh, patina. Okay, sure. Another oldie. Oh my goodness! Look at this belt buckles. <laughs> Texans. <clears throat> I'm not sure they have Chuck E. Cheese Pizza Time Theater ones, but they love big belt buckles there. Man, this thing you could kill someone. <laughs> this thing is about eight pounds of metal. You could kill your own waist. That's you right. sat on it funny. Yeah, if you sat and your gut hits the top of this, it just chops right into it. <laughs> Living the dream right there. That's awesome. And this is, I assume, just a... Hey, what is it's that? A, um, a little coaster? Co yeah. 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 Co for a co oh, that's cool. Always love that logo. That's another... What is this? 84. Helen Henney's Salute to Broadway Cosmetic Kit? Installation kit. You so, gotta be kidding me. Uh, so Broadway, this would have been for her actual bot. Broadway was her first reintroduction. What? Right before the bankruptcy and merger. And so no way. Broadway is, is her... It, that, that is when she became the permanent guest. Wow. So this is basically Helen's first... Return. I guess the return. Oh, that's return. right, because she would. Okay, yeah. Yeah, this is her. her and this is her basically would have been sent to all the uh, Store, stores. Every store. She went company wide. Wow. So she this this would have been the replacement of every Oink and Harmony and anything else. Instructions that were, for Helen Hanny salute to Broadway. That would have been, and then a little miniature version of her. I'm pretty sure this is the only one of these that exists. Oh, I'm that's. Sure somebody's still got one. They made 200 of her, so. You'd think, but I have never seen anything like that. That's crazy. So now back to yeah. the annual report. All right. And so annual reports, again, would have been like franchise holders or stockholders. stockholders. Okay. And, you know, early, okay. early, yeah. early on, before the end of the era. You right, know, right. So, so, and this was pizza time theater. So this was before they were, this is the first company, I should say. So. 
what is oh, neat that's cool. in this one is that it has a report, report for kids. For kid. Oh, cool. So, so like, I, it's something fun. I'm just gonna like a coloring pay, book or pay something. Pay attention to the artwork. Oh, oh okay. So, Peter uh, Piper art, or Pied Piper the or something. Artwork, the artwork. So it's like an activity book, well, basically. Yeah, it's like a, through the maze. A maze. Yeah. So, you know. So something for the kids at home. So, a little sly. There's the portrait stage. The, the ball pit. What are those now? Yeah. We don't know. But definitely, because right. they've been so gone for years. Remember the artwork. Okay. So now, what I want to show you. Can I make one quick point here? Yeah, sure. It's, you go it's right like ahead. he's on a workbench, which is reminiscent of the the paintings they have upstairs at Tully Road on the third floor, where they've got that assembly line Chucky, mm -hmm. where it's like they're assembling them, and they did the big wall mural. It's sort of reminiscent because he's like standing and they're like assembling. And what's what's kind of neat is it's he's sitting there like a half body, but it's actually yeah, but he's got feet, feet right? Yeah. <laughs> I wonder so, what, if it's significant. It's Joe and Nolan because Nolan are the two Nolan kids and, and Joe. No, Nolan Bush now. Yeah, Bush now, and then Joe Joe's Kenan. the other kid. Yeah, that that was that was the wow. Yeah. That's amazing. So you would think they'd have one for Gene, but you know he yeah. maybe. He, he <laughs> maybe. Oh look. Another reference. Oh, pong! Of course there is. Sit there and stare at the references all day. Oh my gosh, anyway, yeah. flip back to the cover. That's amazing. Art. So cool. Yeah. So here is the Whoa, original. Whoa, is this the actual original, the original art? Of watercolor art. No way. No name. There's Look no at way. that. That is the original art. You can actually see the brush strokes. The brush the strokes. Water stains and no way that's amazing how cool is that dude that is awesome look at that you got this one right here wow look at the way the watercolor you know this, oh it bleeds it, yeah, yeah. It, it like discolors because of the water oh my gosh look at that holding a piece of history right here that's amazing From 1982. That's awesome. Oh, we got the little uh, maze. The cheese maze. Chuck has to get to the cheese. But there's a trap right there. And an owl. Oh, man. All these all these things that can get rodents. That is amazing. Ah. Oh, this is so cool. That it survived. Yeah. And it... From 82. And it's just, which, I mean, you have all of it. Depending on when in 82, it could have been Oh, uh, and you've got the original for this too. Holy cow. <sighs> Come on. This is epic. Wow. I, I'm just glad that this stuff was preserved. Me too. Unbelievable. And it's got the whole thing. I, I think and this is just to make notes on or large, whatever. It, probably just to protect it. Well, I would... Eh, I, I've got I mean... Here that if you look at it, it's got the notes that are supposed to be text over it. Wow. So maybe this piece was meant to originally have... Oh, I see. Okay. Have some sort of... Oh, I see. Oh, it. like like kind of what they're doing here. Like right. basically it's, ma it's right. making the page. It, I see. It's... it's Free yeah. Computer. All right. You had to do this all by hand back then. Check that out. They got the little uh, clapboard and the flags and the cheese crawl. I mean, that's how every pizza time theater looked back then. There's only one place where that is now today, and we're sitting in it. Ah, uh, like, you know, it's just amazing. It's got. It's, you I mean, just the have color, the whole. The and, oh my god! And they're still so vibrant. You can feel it. Like it's this is hard. like legitly real. Yeah, like you can feel the uh, the paint or the watercolor. Man, <sighs> that is so cool. I must have just about every page. It looks like it. It literally looks well, like I, you have I the need, whole I need, layout. I need to go in and and wow. set it in order and. Yeah. Look at that. I mean, you know, it's like. How would you display this? You I have no idea. You can't cut it. No. And I mean, you would have. And you to can't imagine. cut the end report because that's an art. That's a piece of history by itself. I mean, these 
alone would be cool to just frame. Oh, and okay, that's exactly how it looks. So that's this it. was the layout. Look so at th that. This, this was okay, so this is what they got, signed off on. No. They were like, this is the figures we want to put over picture, the art. Put the text over it. And then that was how it ended up looking in Gosh. the report. Wow. <laughs> art for children's. Oh, this would have been the children's report. Page 15. <laughs> how cool is that? <laughs> But yeah, I mean, My we, we can God, go through the dude. whole book, but I mean, just, just look at the These color. These things are just amazing. Amazing. Okay, Warblet Original, Chuck E. Cheese Pizza Time Theater. Oh, this was actually when they were like a... The not Magpies. The, the Magpie, okay. This, this was the original, original. So is this like a concept drawing for it? <sighs> That's what I know. Wow. <laughs> it says Warblood Original, so it really feels like it kind of is. And, I mean, you look at the... I mean, the, is there a date on it? The logo. I mean, it's... The logo is early. 77. Holy cow. But, I mean, you can see the white out that they use. Yeah, this paint. is literally the actual art, the concept art mm -hmm. for what would become the Warblets. Wow. But I, I'll do you one more. That you, you, is you, unbelievable. You, you got time for I'm, one more? Uh, I always, 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 always. Oh my gosh, this is insane. All right, Chuck E. Cheese original. I don't even know what you're about to show me. Chuck E. Cheese Pizza Time Theater. No way. I've seen this art yeah. probably on a hundred things. Like, But this is the original. This is it. And the bubble for whatever text, <sighs> there was something here. Yeah. That, well, you could probably interchange yeah. anything. And it's oh like my they had to God. fix the damage you can see in the yeah. nose where they had to I wonder if it's because they reused it for so many Something different got things. Something stuck and yeah. they pulled it off and broke it. And... Dude. Oh my God. That is insane. It's sitting right here. Wow. Dude, that's <laughs> unbelievable. What, what was our what was our thing about Indiana Jones and? <laughs> yeah, uh, that's what I was saying. This entire place is literally like the end of Indiana Jones, where it's like every time I find something, we're putting it in a box, and some old man is wheeling it off to the back room, and uh, you know, on a squeaky wheeled cart. But wait, there's more. Oh, okay. So okay, this is on cloth. That oh, is, is it like a stick? No, it's an iron on. So here is the. Oh, it's an actual iron on. Dude, this is 1976. Which would have been 77 for the store. So, right. I mean, so it could have been stuff they were getting ready for promotion, for opening. So I want like maybe giving them out or maybe even for Make, employees. Making them, making them for a shirt. Employee shirt. I mean, I don't know. I mean, oh, it's my just... gosh. So this could have been some of like some of the first. Pizza Time Theater merch. With, with that date, if it, it yeah. Oh yeah. my God. <laughs> now I don't know what you'll do with it, but you you take that. What? You're gonna start your collection. In no way. Are you serious? Yeah. Uh, you can't. I can't take that, man. Dude, this is amazing. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Holy cow! Pizza Time. Oh my God. 1976. This is literally the and year before the first store before, opened. Before the first store, so it, it has to be oh. the original. Thank you so much. That is a, oh my God, that's such an amazing gift. I think you'll be a good steward of it. Look at that. That is so cool. I, I bet you it was like promotional. I mean, how cool would that be? You know what it reminds me of? Um, I don't, it's a, I'll try to shorten the story, but <laughs> <laughs> Gary Kurtz produced Star Wars. The first uh, three, four. the first, yeah, well, yeah, episode four through five or six, and back in the late eighties, early nineties, he had a yard sale, and someone at his yard sale found a box of promotional stickers that just were, had the Star Wars, and there was about I don't know a hundred of them in there, and it's just uh, one of the vintage. It was a triangle with Luke Skywalker holding a, uh, an early the blue, the blue and white. Yeah, with the uh, it was like the McCory design uh, Skywalker, but it was they were they gave them out before the movie ever came out. It was before like San Diego Comic Con. It was like from '76. They were giving out you know promoting the '77 release. That's this is what the, reminds me of that. Where it hadn't come out yet, but they're trying to get that, you know, that that thing up. But obviously, the guy bought those out of your <laughs> Gary Kirch's yard sale, and he made some money on eBay with those. Uh, I own one, and uh, I definitely paid some good money for it. <laughs> yeah, 
And he didn't. No, no, he definitely didn't. He got that whole box for probably pretty cheap because Gary's like, eh, <laughs> there's stickers. You know, this is awesome. Um, that's totally in the vein of that, which I absolutely adore. So thank you. That is amazing. I appreciate you, bud. Thank you. This was awesome. Once again, another amazing night at Smitty's. Um, well into the night. And well into I know, it's very late. I'm going to let Damon go to sleep at some point. The man has a job. we we got time for one more show. I am here for that. I love shows. You know, I'm going to stay for a show. Uh, I'm never going to turn that down. But after that, then I'm going to go and let him sleep. But, uh, yeah, you know, I just want to uh, appreciate, once again, you letting me come by to soak in all the old Chuck E. Cheese pizza time, showbiz pizza, rock of fire vibes that are in this building. It's absolutely amazing. Uh, you and know. the first showing of the 78 portrait uh, oink. <sighs> I walked in, oh, well, you'll probably see it in the video. <laughs> he was literally, he was dropping the ham jokes and right over my head out from like, he's and either calling me four. fat or, and I didn't even get it until I walked in and now we've got Madam Oink was the one I wanted to see. Madame. You're right. She corrects you. Madame, Madame. Oink. <laughs> yeah. Madame. Um, absolutely amazing that we got to see her perform. Thanks, Matt. Matt the Franchise, you are the best. And uh, thank you for programming her to do those things for me. That sounded really weird. Thanks but, so much for standing in as Krusty. Yes, he did a great job. Uh, he's in his 60s outfit, apparently. He's a hippie. I love it. Um, anyway. Thank you, Damon. Once again, love coming here, and I hope you guys enjoyed it too. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye now.